coming back every year, you know, with the fact that it's not a permanent facility and it's rebuilt and reshaped every year, how much are you able to rely on notes from, say, the previous year's races going into this one? Um, well, the good thing is, you know, Tony and, and all the rest of the track crew guys, you know, they keep the track fairly consistent year after year. Um, you know, each time you come, it kind of feels exactly like, exactly like it did the year before. Uh, I just was in that last session, and you know, the infield berm, you know, feels the same. The width feels the same. Banking, you know, it's all close. Um, so you, you can kind of keep mental notes, and, and it's easy to kind of kind of remember, you know, how the track uh, you know, changes throughout the night. Um, you get an idea of you know watching you know Tony on the tractor and all the other guys like you know, what they do throughout the night and, and how long it takes to get back to uh, you know where you can pass cars and stuff. So uh, I think this is my ninth or tenth season running the, the Chili Bowl, and um, so you, you build your own kind of mental notebook in a way. I don't uh, I don't take notes or anything, um, but uh, it's it's easy to kind of remember how it used to be, and uh, it doesn't feel you know like it's been a year since we've been here. Tony, what kind of boss is Emma? Well, when he shows up, he's all right. <laughs> like, he, like he said, he uh, normally you see him about ten minutes after the last race is over, and then we're here for three more hours, but he's already gone. So, uh, now he, I've known Emma a long time. He's a great friend, and uh, you know that's that's why I enjoy working for him. I mean, he's he's great to work with. He, he may he knows how long the hours are, and he know how he knows how much hard work goes into it, and. Uh, but he makes it fun. He makes you have a good time while you're doing it. He keeps you laughing. He keeps you, keeps you pumped up. So he's, he's a lot of fun to work with. I haven't got paid yet. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> we have some question every year. Uh, so I'm just going to ask you again. Are you ever going to race uh, the Chili Bowl again? You're, you're asking the wrong guy. He, he, he's the one who keeps me busy on this job. Does so. that depend on the ask? If he asks for a raise, he may be running Chili Bowl. <laughs> we'll see. I've never, I've never said never, but it's, you know, it's like I say, it, the four guys that, that we've got working together. I mean, the four of us work really well, and, and it's something I want to do again. But you know, at the same time, I know how important this event is to so many people, and the fact that it keeps growing. I mean, you just, you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to keep growing the event. So uh, if that means driving a tractor. I'm, I'm willing to do that. More fun this year since you are kind. Of, there are no other distractions on your career, that sort of thing. Uh, this is a normal. This is. It really hasn't changed. I mean, everybody asks what retirement's like. I'm like, I won't know till we get to Daytona, and I don't have to be up at nine in the morning for practice. <laughs> I can sleep in during that. So, uh, but you know, this this week, this is my favorite week of the year. It always has been. Probably always will be. But this is always my favorite week of the year, and uh, you know, we look forward to it. I mean, it's. The worst part of the week is Sunday when you when you leave to go home because it's you're sitting there going you got 51 weeks before you get to come back and do it. Are any of you four guys surprised at the growth of the event? Um, looked at entries, I think there was 120 maybe in the year 2000. Now it's 375. The place is filled. Are any of you guys surprised about how big it's gotten, including you and I don't know that I'm any surprised. of us knew there were that many midgets in the country. I know. I don't think there. I don't think there is. I think these guys have spare midgets all season, and then when it comes chili bowl time, they put a spare engine in it and their spare parts, and they go rent a car. I don't think there is as many midgets in the country. The thing that's fun to see. I mean, you know, you look at IndyCar, you look at Formula One, you look at NASCAR, and how they just tighten the regulations and the rules the packages. This is probably one of the very unique events that guys can actually be creative and think outside the box. I mean, you know, when they leave this event and they go run their sanctioning bodies around the country, they have strict rules again that they have to comply to. But when you come here, the way the way Emmett has this structure, they, they have flexibility. There's not a weight rule. There's not, uh, you know, body rules and engine size rules. I mean, it's, it's really a creative event, and I think that's why it keeps growing it. These guys that build these cars, they like having that opportunity to think outside the box and, and to use their talent as engineers and, and designers and car builders. So, uh, you know, with that, it just keeps, you know, I, I, I was sitting there in the infield and I'm looking at brand new cars. I mean, there's, there's probably 50 brand new cars here from last year that were different from last year. And that just, I think it just shows how much that means to these guys. I mean, for a car that they get to race one day, one race a year, but they're willing to put that much effort into it. So it shows how, how much this event means to everybody.
college yeah. you started here when you were a teenager. I mean, are you surprised to see how much it's grown? Um, it's grown, I think, every year since I've ran, you know, little by little. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not surprised that it's grown. Um, I don't think I ever would have thought it would have got to 370 entries. Um, but it's it's awesome, and it makes this event, you know, that much cooler. Uh, just seeing, you know, like, like they said, like, you know, you go to a, other USAC races or, or Power I, and, um, you know, they're, they – get 40, 50 cars and you come here, there's 370. Uh, it's pretty nuts. So, um, and it makes it, you know, I think that much better too when you win the race. You're the, the best out of 370 entries and um, it just uh, keeps growing and growing and you know, hopefully, hopefully it'll slow down a little bit. I don't know. As a promoter, he probably wants it to grow. I but, think God bless him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool though. Brian Ward with Racing Boys. I want to pose a question for Donnie. Uh, I, from my understanding, it's, you have very limited experience in the midgets. I just want to see uh, what your thoughts are getting some practice in on. I wouldn't say very limited. Um, thanks to Tim Claus and Richard Marshall, I got the opportunity to go test uh, in Logansport, Indiana, and made uh, quite a few laps. So um, it really was a surprise to me, having not been in a midget before. Um, it, it drives uh, a lot similar to a late model where you're kind of in yaw all the time. So um, it was a lot of fun. I can honestly tell you I was uh, scared to death when I got in it. But um, uh, Tim told me it took me two laps longer to get going uh, than, than he expected, but at least it got going. So um, it, it's, it's uh, a lot similar to, you know, non-wing racing. I've done a few non-wing races, but not a lot. But uh, a lot more fun than I expected. So looking forward to uh, getting back on the track this afternoon. And with Donnie being a rookie, mm -hmm. we had another rookie come in here several years ago that left with a driller, Dave Blaney. He had never been in a midget before and came in here and won this thing. And wow. So uh, you can't count this rookie out. <laughs> Expectations are obviously to win. Reality says uh, <laughs> if I can be one of them 24 cars to start <laughs> the main on Saturday night, that's a little bit more realistic for – for my rookie status. <laughs> I'll post a question for uh, Rico and Kyle as well. I know y'all's uh, driving is very versatile. You have a lot of experience in a lot of different types of cars, but I've seen a video from a few months ago where you were out on your uh, track in the outlaw carts. And I want to hear y'all thoughts on that because it looked like y'all were having a lot of fun in them. That's yeah, that, that was five years ago. Yeah, probably oh. five or six. It was just years. shared recently. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now Rico, I know you have history in those. Rico, uh, he's got a sweet, sweet mm -hmm. ranch there in St. Lena. Uh, really nice uh, go kart track, and um, I don't know if he's still in a lot of outlaw carts, but he used to own a lot. Um, so we would go out there and play around, and um, you know, just put on some fun races. I always get nervous racing Rico at his track because he's like <laughs> crazy fast there, and. Uh, He's not afraid to throw bombs at you. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah, but it's fun. It's fun going there and race. If you guys will look at the shootout banners up there, winter, <clears throat> excuse me, the winter banner, Kyle Larson's name up there at the shootout in the uh, outlaw carts. I forgot what year it was. Well, so that was the uh, the 25th. Uh, Tulsa shootout, so I've got a silver driller. All right, I gotta get no, I, I want a golden driller. So. <laughs> <laughs> silver one's cool, I want the golden one. Yeah. You, you just mentioned you get nervous racing him at his own little track. Do you ever get nervous racing him here? Here, uh, the last couple of years I don't get to race him because he's way faster than me. So, um, so we'll see, maybe this year will be different, but no, it's always fun racing Rico. Um, we're always pretty aggressive with each other, but but clean for the most part. So um, it would be nice to, to battle him out for a win here. Brian, these boys probably need to go practice. I they know the rookie do. does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we'll have just a couple of minutes if you do want to talk to some of the drivers here, maybe set any interviews up for the rest of the week. But we want to thank everybody for coming out. We really appreciate it. And of course,